Attention, attention. IPOB One Family. This announcement is for those outside of the USA that wish to donate to the Eastern Security Network Fund that is based in the United States. Because of the fees that donators have to pay the bank when sending wires, we recommend that if you're sending less than $250, that you donate through the IPOB USA website. It's fast, simple, and less expensive for you. Go to our website www.ipobinusa.org slash donate that is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate and make your contribution when it comes to keeping our people safe every bit counts after all the security of our communities is our responsibility let's make this happen together Yeah, Mr. Bella once again. <laughs> Who is that? Heal it. Come on. Yeah. Huh. Save your friend who no last forever. They say happy up in a ghost time. What did they know? What do they know? What do they see? What do they see? If you give me a gun, I will shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, give me a gun. I will shoot them aside. If you give me a gun. They love us so Biafra, Biafra This is the time we need to come to bed and fight for what is big Belong to us So get me gumba nigga bandizu What make us a giant of Africa I don't go chill till now Hey Suga Mbo get run this in a nyam 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 As a corporate entity is not enough. The peoples of Nigeria must at the same time be guaranteed their freedom. We must ensure, we must ensure that in an independent Nigeria, individual citizens throughout the land enjoy liberty, human dignity, and equality under the law. There must be one Nigeria with one constitution and one law for us. Let us therefore, Mr. Chairman Sir, close our ears to the Council of Despair, which says that we cannot here at this conference agree on a constitution.
welcome 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 to this evening broadcast where we are bringing to you the latest the latest the latest the latest welcome as we embark on this evening exposition we are going to discuss our leader freedom we are going to discuss uh a lot of things we are going to pray and uh, we are going to also tell you some of the things that the ipob family all over the world are doing you are watching live and direct on enter biafra channel one you are watching live and direct on twitch you are watching live and direct on uh, youtube and other social media platform this evening like you all know this is the second uh, live broadcast we are doing if you are watching all you need to do is to inform your friends inform those in your whatsapp contact by sharing to whatsapp sharing to group sharing to your uh to your social media contact facebook and what have you because everybody must understand that we have our own platform from where we are making our broadcast i will no longer rely on third party which is facebook and co so having said that having said that you all should know that this is not very easy it is very challenging to uh, do what we are doing now but it is what we have to do because our leader is not here mazina dikano is having more uh is in the more serious state than uh, whatever we do so no amount of brokers per day will equate uh staying in dss uh, custody for one day you know uh, people should understand that so it is the price we are paying in a in a different uh, a different way now some of you don't know what uh the uh indigenous people of biafra the ipob are doing what we are influencing and uh, how these uh, things is uh, happening i i have one um i have more i have one uh, one uh, information i'm going to dish out today uh, pertaining to this uh, particular uh, uh, activities uh, that uh, the indigenous people of biafra are doing to make sure that nigeria is not functional and nigeria will not function because it is not even functional anyway now the uh, indigenous people of biafra among other things they have done the latest thing because uh, it is now i'm giving you people now update the update from the activities of the indigenous people of biafra activities of the indigenous people of biafra update from the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra. Indigenous people of Biafra, for a moment, for those of you, in fact, you know, you know, what, what, what we have not been doing in the past is, um, uh, you know when uh, uh, you know, like like we say, the struggle for Biafra has taken a, a very dangerous dimension. People don't get it. Sorry. <clears throat> oh my God, <laughs> I don't have Corona. I don't have Corona. I think I, I'm just drinking something that make me to sneeze. It is not Corona, so I don't think I have Corona. So. We, we, we are, you know, this struggle have taken a very a different dimension. And now we will be updating you not on all things we do, not on all things the uh, indigenous people of Biafra are doing, but we are going to be updating you to, for you to know where we are going, you know, for you to know uh, what has been done, you know, uh, you know uh within the uh, uh abduction and kidnapping of our leader and all that so the activity the for the fact that they kidnap our leader 
and take him to Nigeria, did not stop Biafra agitation, did not stop the IPOB activities, did not stop our diplomatic work, underground work, and what we are doing all over the world with uh, leading powers and all that. So I'm going to be updating you people, uh, you know, every now and then what uh, we have been doing and what we are doing. So on this note, on this note, I want you to pay attention to this. Update from the indigenous people of Biafra, Biafrans all over the world. This is This is a suit filed by the indigenous people of Biafra against Nigeria government, of which Secretary of State, United States of America, and order against the Nigeria, especially on the purchase of this aircraft and uh, what have you. Now, I want to, I want to show you something. You all remember that uh, that uh, when the news broke that uh, the uh, the U.S. the uh, Congress stopped the Nigeria government uh, purchase from uh, from purchasing uh, uh, military hardware of uh, whatever how many uh, hundred millions of uh, dollars. You know how Nigeria does their thing. The Senate came out to say they are going to engage the U.S. Uh, Congress to to look into the the matter. So let me now look for the news and bring it up because I don't want to just talk story. You see, I don't want to just talk story. I want to give you fact. I want to give you fact. So the Senate, Nigeria Senate, to look into. The U.S. U.S. arms deal. One moment. One moment. Let us open this one in a new tab. Open this one in a new tab. Open this one in a new tab. And uh, let us now go to Lai Mohammed. We are not aware of the arm deal. Lai Muhammad. All right, here we go. So there is uh, two things I'm going to, uh, you know, not two things, more than two things. I just want to let you understand how we have been able to dismantle, disfigure, puncture, uppercut, you know, Nigeria as a country, we uppercut, puncture the tire and the stomach of Nigeria as a country. We've been able to destroy Nigeria in international community because the Nigeria itself is a fraud. So when we are destroying Nigeria, we are saving the world. I want you to write this as a quote. Destroying Nigeria is saving the world. When you join hand in destroying Nigeria, you are joining hand to making the world a better place. By Simon Epper today, the first day of August. Let it be a quote that we go viral. Joining hand in destroying Nigeria is joining hand in making the world a better place. Because Nigeria itself is a fraud, it's a scam, 
It's a terrorist country. And anybody that join hand with what we are doing to destroy and make sure that Nigeria will cease to exist, you have contributed a lot in making the world a better place. Now, you all know that Nigeria government, they went to purchase arm in America. Some of you do not know what the IPOB have done for that uh, particular thing to, uh, to not you know, see the, the light of the day. So let us start from this before we go into now. Remember that this, uh, this particular broadcast today is about the activities of IPOB and the object from IPOB. U.S. lawmakers stop 875 million arms sale to Nigeria. Let us read. U.S. lawmakers hold down a proposed sale of attack helicopter to Nigeria, citing poor human rights record of President Mohamed Buhari government as it uh, grapples with multiple security crises. The deal, according to U.S. official and congressional aide familiar with the matter, is worth $875 million. The lawmaker on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, according to the report reviewed by Foreign Policy Magazine, have reportedly delayed clearing a proposed sale of 12 uh, AH-1 Cobra attack helicopter and accompanied defense system to the Nigeria military, citing, citing the, the drift of the present government in Nigeria toward authorita authoritarianism and the human rights violation, among others. Among others is that the Nigeria government is a terrorist government that has sponsored and supporting terrorism. But the presidency, in a swift reaction, said, Nigeria will get every necessary assistance it want from the U.S. government. You see, they did not debunk it. They say, rather, they are going to get every necessary assistance they need from the Nigeria government. Now, do you see that? That is number one. Presidency reacted that they are, Nigeria will get everything it needs from the uh, U.S. government. It didn't end there. So let me show you that one, the actual news of uh, the Nigeria will get anything it needs from the from the U.S. Uh, government. Let me bring the news to you. Our own is either do either show. We don't do we don't talk stories. Now, the same Nigeria now came through the presidency. $875 million arms deal, Nigeria will get anything it needs from the U.S. presidency. The presidency, in its reaction to the uh, allegation that the U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Relations had called for a halt to the proposed sale of attack helicopter to Nigeria over consent bordering on authoritarianism human rights abuses and the government role in NSAS protests say that Nigeria would get every necessary assistance it want from the U.S. government. Remember that this world prompted NSAS protest is also Abakaere. It has to do with the activity, criminal activity of Abakaere as he had in SAS in Lagos. Presidency source who pleaded not to be named because of the sensitivity of the matter said that Nigeria and the U.S. government have no problem, adding that the two countries have a good relation. Now, it didn't end here. Do you understand me? It didn't end here. Now, let me also surprise you. Let me surprise you. Let me surprise you. After this, after this, so, the one you call the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, Lai Mohammed, Mr. Laya, Lai Mohammed now came. Na, Lai Mohammed now came to say federal government of Nigeria not aware of 
$875 million ammunition deal US with US, Lai Mohammed. So is it that they have sidelined Lai Mohammed? <laughs> is it that they have sidelined Lai Mohammed and Lai Mohammed is not aware or is just lying as usual? Is this just the usual lie of Lai Mohammed? Lai Mohammed say the federal government is not aware <laughs> of the arms deal. Now let us continue. The federal government say it is not aware of any uh, 875 million ammunition deal with the US, which is being purportedly blocked by some lawmaker in that country. <laughs> the same federal government, through the minister, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, described the purported ammunition deal reported in some section of the media as fake news. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> fake news. Lai Mohammed, speaking with the new agency of Nigeria now on Friday in Abuja, the minister said there was no contract of such nature and some between you in Nigeria and the U.S. There is no contract of arms between the federal government, Republic of Nigeria, and the United States of America today, apart from the 12, uh, apart from the 12 Super Tokuno attack helicopter, of which six have been delivered. Okay, of which six has been delivered. We do not know which uh, six is uh, which uh, six is he talking about. Is it not the same 12 we are talking about here? Now we are quite satisfied with the process and the cooperation. That we, that we received from the government of the United States uh, on this issue. As a matter of fact, six of the Tokuno helicopter will be launched uh, on August 3rd this year. We are not aware of the so-called 879 million, uh, so 5 million US uh, dollar arms uh, contract or some helicopter which the state lawmaker in the US are trying to persuade the, the president of the United States not to honor. The, relation, the relationship between Nigeria and the U.S. is smooth and waxing stronger, he said. The report in some section of the media had claimed that influential U.S. lawmaker were masterminding a hold on a proposed sale of ammunition and uh, attack helicopter to the Nigeria over allegation of human rights abuses and anti-democratic action of the present administration. Now, having watched this, <laughs> haven't watched, haven't listened to this, Obina. I have not allowed people to come in here. Haven't, uh, haven't uh, listened and uh, uh, you know read what I've just showed you now. I want you, I want you to know what IPOB is doing because you know uh, what has been missing in this thing uh, has been uh, information, a lack of information. Uh, people. Uh, are not uh, the uh, we have not been dishing out to the public what we are doing in IPOB, especially those ones that are supposed to be public. We have not been dishing out this information, thereby, some unscrupulous individuals will go carry file and say, I am in America, I am doing this, I went to America, I am doing that, I went to some conference, I'm doing that. So, when they have the opportunity to go and uh, uh, sit in a place where they are having press conference, they will be taking pictures. And uh, when you talk, they show you that, that we are in America. They take picture with this person, take picture with that person. That it was because of their pressure on America, make America to do this and do that. So you know, it is time we're beginning to give you updates every once in a while, especially those updates we feel should be public, where people should know. So on this note, I am um, I am presenting to you this evening what the IPOB, the Digital School of Biafra, are doing and uh, and uh, and the work we will continue to do this uh, information here uh, uh, like you know is the first time some of you will see it and here we go before we go let us go on a commercial you know we are upgrading i don't know whether are we upgrading or we have upgraded we have upgraded so let us go for commercial Attention, attention, IPOB One Family. 
This announcement is for those outside of the USA that wish to donate to the Eastern Security Network Fund that is based in the United States. Because of the fees that donators have to pay the bank when sending wires, we recommend that if you're sending less than $250, that you donate through the IPOB USA website. It's fast, simple, and less expensive for you. Go to our website, www.ipobinusa.org slash donate. That is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate and make your contribution. When it comes to keeping our people safe, every bit counts. After all, the security of our communities is our responsibility. Let's make this happen together. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, so, here we go. Now you are looking, you are looking at what we are doing at the moment. And of course, uh, of course, uh, the complaint for violation of the Lehi Amendment. The Lehi Amendment, this is a case being filed in the United States of America, in which the plaintiff, indigenous people of Biafra, indigenous people of Biafra, the subject matter jurisdiction, this court possesses subject matter jurisdiction over plaintiff claim. We are, the indigenous people of Biafra is, uh, you know, you know, asking the, uh, the United States court to make sure that all the deals that America, uh, Nigeria is trying to have with America do not uh, succeed, especially purchase of arms, ammunition, purchase of helicopter, purchase of uh, this uh, deal that um, um, Lai Mohammed is talking about now. And we are going to know who is going to win. As you can see, uh, the uh, proper uh, this in this in the uh, the proper in this district under this. Uh, 28 U.S., uh, you know, because of defendant reside here and act permission that gave the plaintiff claim or court in the district. The party of this to this uh, particular uh, case is IPOB, boldly written here, as you can see, indigenous people of Biafra. The plaintiff, indigenous people of Biafra. So for I'm not going to go into details to start reading all these things to you, and uh, but we have our fact here, evidences gathered from Imo State. So the point here is that what Hopus Odema is doing, is doing uh, and have done to Biafra people in Imo State is one of the evidences that we are using. The uh, As you can see, indigenous people of Biafra who reside in Imo State, in the Southeast Nigeria land historically occupied by Biafra. And uh, the death, fear, bodily injury, destruction of his property and all that, and uh, by a 29 to, uh, super Tucano military uh, uh, Tucano military aircraft, if the plane are delivered by the United States to the government of Nigeria uh, and incorporated into the Nigeria Air Force to assist the, the ongoing genocide of Biafra. You see, and this, uh, for those of you who do not know, you, I'm going to tell you uh, the, uh, the uh, the uh, you know the the the, the, the lawyers that are involved in the in this particular uh, uh, suit and this in in this case the highly respected uh, lawyers in the United States and uh, so number two you see uh, the uh, the member or member of indigenous people of Biafra who is a native of Imo State in the southeast Nigeria uh, on uh, on land historically occupied by Biafra and then reasonably fierce death bodily injury destruction of property by using A-29 Super Tokuno military aircraft. And so we have a lot of evidences against the Nigerian government. And uh, as a result of this thing you are seeing here, as a result of this thing you are seeing here, among other things that indigenous people of Biafra has done, which is now resulting to the, uh, the US Congress halting the uh, delivery of uh, the remaining uh, Super Tokuno aircraft. 
So the Nigerian government don't even know what is hitting them. I am just telling them now. You see, the point is that the Nigerian government don't know what is coming to them. They don't even know what is hitting them. Lai Mohammed is still, it is still like a film to them. Lai Mohammed is still not understand, still don't understand that the remaining aircraft they are talking about, they will never get it. They will never get it. And we are going to go deeper. We are going to do more until we see that Nigeria collapse com completely because the country is collapsing by itself. The country is collapsing by itself. The point here is that you cannot continue to be in a country where the people will be killing people, you know, the government will be sponsoring terrorism. So if they purchase arms and ammunition, instead of them to use the arms and ammunition to fight the globally recognized terrorist group in Nigeria, they don't do that. Instead of them to use the arms and ammunition to fight the fourth deadliest terrorist group, which is the Fulani Hesmen, they don't do that. So what they do is to use it to come to Imo State where the governor is a sellout and they will use it to start killing people in Imo State. Those who actually have come out to protect their own land against the government sponsored terrorists or terrorists. So those of you who don't understand, who don't understand what the IPOB have been doing, like I said, it is time we begin to give you updates, you know, every now and then so that you people will understand how deep we are going. It is not just about talking on social media. It is not just about, um, of course, the talking about social media is one of the biggest important thing here because if we don't do it, they are going to cook all manner of stories against us. And if we don't debunk and the fight against that story, before you know it, that fake story become truth. So we don't want to do that. So now uh, we have to be bringing to you every, uh, you know, every now and then the update from the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra, especially the diplomatic part of the, uh, uh, you know, step to getting uh, Biafra. So now let us continue. So Lai Mohammed is here to understand what IPOB is doing. So you can see that uh, arresting Mazina Bikano is not uh, affecting the activities of indigenous people of Biafra. Making Mazina Bikano a communicado does not uh, affect the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra in global level. It does not, you know, it does not uh, stop anything from happening. It does not stop us from approaching the U.S. Congress. It does not stop us from filing cases all over the world. It does not stop us from doing all these things. So now, the uh, number eight, number eight, uh, the uh, a member of the indigenous people of Biafra, who is a native of Imo State in the southeast uh, Nigeria, land historically occupied by Biafra, uh, reasonably fear of death, bodily injury, and all that using A-29 Super Tokuno military aircraft in a, if the plane is delivered by the United States, the government of Nigeria incorporated the Air Force and they will use it to commit genocide against Biafra. So the actual reason why the United States will no longer uh, go ahead with the arms deal with the, uh, with the Nigerian government is because they have come to realize, they have come to realize that, uh, that, uh, um, uh, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the government of Nigeria is committing genocide against Biafra. That is exactly what is happening. So all the things they are writing in social media, all the things they are writing on, on, on social media about uh, human rights abuses, of course it is part of human rights abuses and all that. But the major reason why this whole thing is being uh, pushed is because the government of Nigeria is committing genocide against Biafra. Against Biafra people. And you can see the Biafra is boldly written in this document, the Biafra is boldly written in this document, and it is going to be seen in this document. IPOB is boldly written in this document. Indigenous people of Biafra is boldly written in this document, and it is always going to be so. Onyeso Emmanuel Samoyesa, please, when will you or Mazi Erolos for miscrant position, <laughs> for miscrant position now, he, uh, he don't fool. <laughs> You know, fool, I want to be a Miss Grant too, certified one. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, they call us Miss Grant, but this is what we are. Of course, they know we are not Miss, Miss Grant. The people that are calling us Miss Grant cannot even, uh, they don't even have brain, you know, to think. So let us continue. Now, the uh, num number, number nine, uh, uh, member of indigenous people of Biafra, who is native of Imo State in Southeast uh, Nigeria, on, uh, on a land historically occupied by Biafrans, 
uh, reasonably fair debt bodily injury destruction of his property by a 29 by a 29 super tokuno military aircraft if the plane are delivered by the by the united states the government of nigeria and is incorporated into the nigeria uh, air force to assist the ongoing genocide of biafra you see uh, remember number 10 member of indigenous people of biafra who is a native of Imo state and all that historically occupied by biafra and reasonably fear death bodily injury and uh, they have used the a-29 super tokuno aircraft to carry out this attack and if it is de delivered they are going to use it for to commit genocide against biafra uh not 11 is the same thing a uh, member of indigenous people of biafra a native of Imo state and all that and if that happened, they are going to use it to commit genocide against Biafra. 12. The indigenous people of Biafra, member of indigenous people of Biafra, a native of Imo state. So you see everything happening here. So Hopus Odema, we are coming. Hopus Odema, we are coming. Hopus Odema, we are coming. I hope you are listening and watching. What is happening here is in Imo State, in Imo State, under your watch, everything happening here, every statement in, in this, uh, in this uh, powerful document in the United States is coming from Imo State. So hope was on Ima, that is genocide, commit, the, you have committed genocide. The, 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 uh, the uh, Nigerian government, if you know hope was on Ima, copy this broadcast and send to him. Because from today, he will begin to lose weight. From today, Hope was on the man will begin to lose weight because there is videos where there are videos where Hope was on the man have come publicly to say, I ordered the bombardment. I, you know, you know, you know, Hope was on the man is a criminal. You know, people who, who like Abakaire, those who are uh, who are involved in a, in a, in a 419. You know, 419 is a section in Nigeria criminal code. Hope was on the man was just a driver. It was just a driver you know of to, to 419 ers all those people who do people in those days so he he, he came with this kind of gangsterism uh, 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 approach or ga gangsterism uh, behavior the, he used to see his bosses in those days where he drive them he came to government he came to politics with that kind of uh, evil and gangsterism uh, behavior you know of course we don't blame uh, him because that is nigeria that is nigeria uh, attitude now he has come publicly thinking that as a governor you can just order the bombardment of your own people so i hope hope Zodima, you see what is happening i hope hope Zodima, we come across this particular document which i'm i'm releasing for the very first time you can't see this document anywhere of course it is <laughs> it is a public uh, you know it is public but we are just making it public now for your you know for your own consumption so that people will understand the work indigenous people of Biafra under the leadership of Mazen and Bikano is doing. And like I said, what has transpired in the past is that the info, most of the inform, what most of what we are doing, we are not public. Most of what we are doing, nobody knew about it. So, so uh, you know, some people are taking glory when something begins to happen. So we have to be setting the record straight for those who are who doubt the uh, the capacity. Of uh, of IPOB or Bazinam Dikano leadership and all that. This is one of them. So let us continue. Now, as you can see, uh, uh, twelve. The uh, uh, eight is the member of uh, Indigenous people of Biafra who is a native of Imo State in southwest in southeast Nigeria on a land historically occupied by Biafra. Uh, reasonable fear, death, bodily injury, destruction of his property. We buy A29 Super Tokuno military aircraft. If the plane are delivered by the United States, the government uh, of Nigeria and incorporated into the Nigeria Air Force to assist the ongoing genocide in Biafra, uh, uh, genocide of Biafra. 13, a member of indigenous people of Biafra who is a native of Imo state in Southeast Nigeria on land historically occupied by Biafra, reasonably fear uh, dead, bodily injury, destruction of uh, his property by a 29 super tokuno military aircraft if the plane are delivered by the united states of government of nigeria uh, of nigeria and incorporated into the nigeria air force to assist uh, ongoing genocide of biafra 
14, member of the indigenous people of Biafra, who is a native of Ebony State uh, uh, in southeast Nigeria, on land historically of five of Biafrans, uh, reasonably uh, feared death, bodily injury, destruction of property by A29 Tokuno, uh, uh, a super Tokuno military aircraft uh, plane uh, delivered by the United States uh, uh, to the government of Nigeria and incorporated into the Nigeria Air Force to assist the ongoing genocide of Biafra. Remember the work, remember what is happening here. They say ongoing, ongoing genocide of Biafrans. So I hope you are following and you understand what is going on. Ongoing genocide of Biafrans. So hope who's on man should go and buckle up because uh, we, you know the, if we are coming for him and the world is coming for him as well. Uh, defendant, um, defendant here uh, is the United States Secretary. Uh, the defendant in the number 15, Tony Blinken, is the United States Secretary of State entrusted with administering Lehi Amendment. We are going to also look into this Lehi Amendment. Uh, which generally prohibit military assistance under the Foreign Assistance Act of 1961 or the Arms Export Control Act to any unit of the security forces of a foreign country if the Secretary of State has credible evidence that such unit has committed gross violation, gross violation of human rights. 16. Uh, the uh, defendant Lloyd Austin is the United States Secretary of Defense entrusted with the administering uh, Lehi agreement uh, amendment, uh, which generally prohibit expenditure of monies for any training equipment or other assistance for a unit of a foreign a foreign security force. If the Secretary of uh, Defense has credible information that the unit has uh, committed a gross violation of human right, the statement uh, the IPOB mission is Biafra sovereign uh, independent. Uh, listening to this, the IPOB 17, I don't know the people calling me, the, uh, the 17, IPOB's mission is a Biafra sovereign independent of the radical Fulani uh, dominated Nigeria, uh, of uh, Nigeria government of Nigeria through peaceful means. I hope you pay att you paid attention to the statement here. The statement say independent uh, of the radical Fulani dominated, radical Fulani dominated government of Nigeria through peaceful means. IPOB advocates a Biafra referendum organized and, con to organize and conducted by the United Nations to achieve Biafra sovereignty. In 2011, that protocol was followed in enabling South Sudan to establish sovereignty independent uh, state of Sudan. Biafra's predominantly occupied land in Southeast Nigeria, Biafra's port. Uh, 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 a unique ethnicity, democratic culture, history, and traditions in Nigeria, distinct from Nigeria's radical Islamic Fulani or Yoruba. Uh, Yoruba, of course, is, is coming here because they are uh, part of the ethnic group in Nigeria, of which we are now together as brothers and sisters. Biafrans are Biafran as politically, religious, and ethnic minority in Nigeria, numbering approximately 70 million. They are overwhelmingly Christian. They are generally unprecedented in the corridor of power, including the security services, which are completely controlled by the radical Islam Fulani. Biafra have been persecuted at uh, the hand of Fulani since the Nigeria independent from Great Britain in 1960. The primary livelihood of the Fulani are the killing nature, the killing, torture, and the plunder of Biafrans. More than a century ago, Great Britain compelled the amalgamation of Biafrans with the Fulani under a single colonial establishment in further of their divide and conquer strategy to control indigenous population. Boko Haram in Nigeria is associated with the ISIS or Al-Qaeda and is listed as a foreign terrorist organization by the United States Department of State. Mohamed Buhari is the president of Nigeria he was elected in 2015 and re-elected in 2019. Mr. Buhari subscribed to radical Islam. He, he, he acquaintances uh, in the application of Sharia law in 12 of Nigeria, uh, Nigeria's uh, 36 state. Before his presidency, Mr. Buhari acted as spokesperson for Boko Haram and he remained an adherent to its uh, uh, repetitive, uh, moderate, ambitious, from 1983 
uh, to 85, Mr. Buhari ruled Nigeria as a military dictator and, uh, uh, and marked by grisly human rights violation following a coup. 23, Mr. Buhari participated in the 1967 to 1970 civil war in Nigeria as a military leader responsible for the slaughter of more than 1 million Biafras. Uh, at, at present, President Buhari is conducting a genocide of Biafras that is under investigation by the International Criminal Court through use of Fulani, uh, his Fulani controlled security forces, including the Nigeria Air Force uh, on, uh, on or around March uh, 5 to 8, 2021 in Olo Imo State, the Nigeria police under the command of Deputy uh, Commissioner of Police, uh, Mr. Abba Kaere. Have you all seen it? Abba Kaere is appearing here again. Mr. Abba Kaere in a rampage, indiscriminately abducted innocent young men and women uh, and transported them to unknown location. Since then, they have been neither seen nor reunited with their families. Uh, currently, the deputy commissioner presided over burning of several houses and damaging of properties owned by their friends because because perceived to be advocating Biafra freedom. Other Biafra were killed on April 15, 2000, on April 15 to 18, 2021. The deputy commissioner indiscriminate, indiscriminately arrested Biafrans at all major intersections, including teenagers, beat them and drove them to unknown location without accusation of crime. On May 21st, 2021, the Nigeria Air Force bombarded the village of Amuzi, Obowa, a Nemo state using helicopter gunboat. Many uh, Biafran's villagers were killed and building and farmland were destroyed. You see, IPOB keeping document and international community are taking it up. And this is a lawsuit in America, in the United States. So Abba Kaire is going to America. We don't know how this is going to turn out at the end of the day. But for now, we are stopping the sale of arms and ammunition to Nigeria government. And you have seen it. It is already make, making news. It is already in the Congress and they are taking it up. On June 18, 2021, Mr. Buhari used helicopter gunboat to bombard the Biafra people of Ihi of uh, Ihite Okwa in Imo State, killing 25 and destroying buildings, churches, and farms. On February 18, 2021, Mr. Buhari used a helicopter gunboat to bombard Olo in Imo State. Many Biafras were killed or wounded, including women and children. On, on or about June 20, uh, 20, uh, June 2, 2021, President Buhari, in a tweet, pleaded to exterminate Biafras in a matter of the 1967 to 1970 war if they persisted in advocating for a sovereign state of Biafra, the Biafra nation. Twitter deleted Mr. Buhari threatening tweet for violating its users' guidelines. In retaliation, Mr. Buhari indefinitely suspended Twitter operation in Nigeria in flagrant violation of international law on or about June 2021 in furtherance of the ongoing genocide of Biafran, President Buhari orchestrated the torture and kidnapping of IPOP leader Mazinam Dikano from Kenya by using Turkish Kwashi mercenaries. Mazinam Dikano was charged with terrorism and companion offenses before a, a, a pliable Nigeria judiciary uh, at de facto arms of President Buhari the, of course, is the idea or the de facto, of course. Uh, the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom and recommend in 2000 that the State Department designate Nigeria as a country of particular concern for engaging in a tolerating systematic, ongoing, and a rigorous violation of religious freedom, including persecution of the Christians' Biafra community. On or about uh, August. 2017, President Donald Trump approved the 600 million sale of the 12A29 Super Tokuno military aircraft to Nigeria, professedly for use in fighting ter uh, international terrorism, including Boko Haram. The Trump administration was notorious for its indifference to human rights violation by foreign government, for example, resisting sanction against Saudi Arabia Crown Prince despite his assassination of a uh, of a Washington Post journalist, Jama Khashoggi. President Buhari intend to use the Super Tokuno advanced weapon to kill and maim Biafrans and destroy their property in his ongoing genocide conducted by Fulani-controlled security forces 
guilty of atrocious, uh, uh, atrocious human rights violation as explified in paragraph 23 to, to 26 supra. On or about July 19, 2021, the billing administration delivered six uh, of uh, the 12 Tokuno uh, 28-29 Super Tokuno military aircraft to Nigeria. They are slotted to be formally commissioned into the Nigeria Air Force within a few weeks before becoming operational. You see? And Lai Mohammed is still wallowing in ignorance. He did not know that uh, he was talking about the cooperation. He did not know that IPOB has done and has smarted them. He did not know that IPOB has presented facts and figures to the United States government, and the United States government is doing justice. And they actually delivered, they actually delivered the remaining uh, Super Tokuno, uh, that uh, first uh, uh, six uh, Super Tokuno, probably on mistake, on mistake. They, they I believe that the United States of America will be, you know, regretting sending the six Tokuno uh, 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 aircraft to Nigeria. But we are promised, we are promising them, we are promising them the day they are going to use it on Biafra as as usual will be the end of those Tokuno aircraft. It is either the, uh, the thunder will fire it from the air or the, the aircraft will crash if, uh, if it was not gone down. So we are going to see that happening. Let them just launch it. Lai Mohammed said they are going to launch it on the 3rd of uh, this uh, August. So let them launch it and let uh, Hopu Zodima bring it to Biafra land. We are waiting for them. And then on, on about 19... Uh, uh, okay, this is uh, now. Let us go to 35. Based on their Christian religion, uh, their Biafra heritage, IPOP membership, peaceful advocacy of an independent Biafra state, and the ongoing genocide of Biafra by President Buhari, uh, one to ten reasonably fear that the A29 Tokuno Super Tokuno aircraft will be used imminent, imminent, uh, imminently to kill or maim them physically or destroy their property by Fulani controlled security forces guilty of a rigorous human rights violation, including extrajudicial killing, torture, and rape. In 2008, Congress enacted Lehi Amendment Number 122 U.S. This, it is generally prohibit military assistance to any unit of the security services of a foreign country if, if the Secretary of State possesses credible evidence that such unit has committed gross violation of human rights the prohibition may be waived if the secretary uh, determined that the government of this of this uh, of the foreign country is taking effective measure to prosecute the human rights corporate. Among other things, the, the purpose of Lehi Amendment uh, Number One is to shield citizen of foreign sovereignty uh, sovereign from harm caused by the United States uh, weapon in the hand of security forces guilty of gross human rights violation. I hope you don't understand what is happening. So America actually have adopted what we call the Lehi Amendment. The Lehi Amendment, which pro so which protect you know you in Nigeria from a uh, from uh, which protect you in Nigeria from uh, from uh, uh, um, uh, uh, United States uh, uh, military or United States uh, weapon. So any weapon purchased from United States. You are protected by the United States law, not to for the government that are uh, uh, you know that have uh, that are human rights violators. Uh, you know, it prohibit them. And so even now, let me tell you, even this uh, super Tukuno, uh, aircraft that Nigeria purchased, it means that they can't use it on Biafra people. They can't use it on us because if they use it, they have now violated. This Lehi Amendment, which actually protected us or is protecting us against the uh, United States uh, weapon. So, if Nigeria government will go for that to use that weapon they purchase from the United States on Biafra people, then I think uh, we have a lot of cases here because they are not going to use it. So, let anybody, all the lawyers in Nigeria, should go and educate them now. They should go and educate them that the law of the United States is prohibiting them. From using that Tukuno uh, aircraft to commit genocide and to commit human rights, uh, 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 to violate human rights in Biafra land. That is what this law is trying to tell you. It's telling you that the law is protecting the citizen of foreign country, you know, from the uh, from the government using a weapon purchased from America on them. 
So it is very important that all of you in Nigeria, the lawyers in Nigeria, to go and educate the lie Mohammed, who puts on the map that America sold this thing to you does not mean that because okay, this one the the cease is not is not coming. So you have collected cease. Does not mean that now you will uh, hope is on the man who is proudly uh, campaigning how he invited the military to come and bomb Imo State. Does not mean that you now use this Tukuno now to go and bomb Imo State because you are not only committing crime uh, against the Biafra people, but also you are breaching the United States Lehi Amendment, which on that amendment you were able to purchase this uh, this uh, Tukuno aircraft. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So the law of the United States is applicable on how you are going to use this, this uh, Tukuno uh, aircraft in Nigeria. That is law. That is law. I did not say it. It is the law of America. So if you are purchasing that, uh, um, uh, that uh, Super Tukuno, you are to use it on internationally recognized terrorist organization. Boko Haram, uh, Fulani Hesmen, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and all that. That is the people you are going, and they are in the Northeast. So do not bring Tokuno aircraft to Biafra land because there is no terrorist organization in Biafra land. That is number one. Now let us continue. So among other things, the purpose of Lehi Amendment, uh, number one, is to shield citizens of foreign uh, sovereign from harm caused by United States weapon in the hand of security forces guilty of gross human rights violation. In 2014, Congress enacted Lehi Amendment Number no. 2. Uh, it generally prohibits the use of Defense Department fund to assist through training equipment or otherwise units of foreign security forces if the Secretary of, of Defense possesses credible information of their complicity in gross human rights violation. The Secretary may, may waive the prohibition of uh, uh, for extraordinary uh, circumstances or by determining that the foreign government has taken necessary correctness, corrective step or to assist humanitarian operating operation or uh, in national security uh, 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 emergencies. Among other things, the purpose of Lehi Agreement uh, number two is to shield citizens of foreign uh, sovereign from harm caused by the United States weapon in the hand of security forces guilty of gross human rights violation. All conditions present to this action have occurred or have been performed. You see, count one, Lehi Amendment number one, the plaintiff, which is the IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, repeat and reallege paragraph one to 40 above as if fully set for hearing. Uh, every unit of Nigeria security forces are guilty of gross violation of human rights against Biafra, including the Nigeria Air Force, which is known to defend and uh, to defend that uh, Secretary of State Tony Blinken. Defender Tony Blinken has not determined the, uh, that the government of the Nigeria taking effective measures to bring the reasonable members of the security forces uh, unit to justice. The delivery of six Tulpa Sukuno military aircraft to the Nigerian government under the Foreign Assistance Act of 1961 of the Arms Export Control Act violated Lehi Amendment Number no. 1. You see, the Defender Blinken uh, is planning immediately to deliver six additional Super Tokuno military aircraft to the government of Nigeria for use by security forces guilty of gross violation of human rights against Biafra, in violation of Lehi Amendment uh, number one. IPOB member uh, want, to, want to tell reasonably fear that the Super Tokuno military aircraft will be used by the Nigeria State uh, Air Force to kill uh, or injure them or to destroy their properties because of their IPOB membership or Biafra heritage. Count two, section 10 of the amend of the Administrative Procedure Act, plaintiff repeat and allege uh, paragraph one to 46 as fully set forth herein, uh, every unit of the Nigeria Security Forces is guilty of gross violation of its right, uh, uh, human right against Biafra, including the Nigeria Air Force, uh, which is known to defendant Secretary of State Tony Blinken. Defendant Blinken had not determined that the Nigerian government uh, is taking effective measures to bring the, res re the re responsible members of the security forces your unit to justice. The delivery of six Super Tukuno 
uh, military aircraft to the government of Nigeria under the Foreign uh, Assistance Act of 1961 of the Arms Export Control Act was exceeded. Statutory uh, authority in violation of Lehi Amendment uh, Number 1, 22 of the U.S. and the Administrative Procedure Act 5 of the U.S. 51. Defender Blinken is planning immediately uh, uh, immediately to deliver six uh, additional Super Tokuno military aircraft to the government of Nigeria for use by security forces guilty of gross violation of human rights against Biafra in violation of Lehi Amendment Number no. One and Administrative Procedure Act uh, A and C. Plaintiff member of, of uh, members one to ten reasonable fear that Super Tokuno military aircraft will be used by the Nigeria Air Force immediately immediately to kill injure them or to destroy their property to destroy their property because of their IPOB membership religious beer and Biafra heritage count 3 lehi amendment number 2 plaintiff repeat and alleged paragraph 1 to 52 as it fully set forth herein every unit of the Nigeria security forces is guilty of the violation of uh, human rights against Biafra including the Nigeria Air Force which is known to Defendant Secretary of uh, Defense, uh, uh, Le, uh, Lloyd Austin. Defendant Austin has not determined that the exception uh, uh, or waiver provision of 10 U.S. applied to the delivery of Super Tokuno military aircraft to the Nigeria Air Force. Prior to delivery of six Super, super Tokuno military aircraft to the government of Nigeria for use by the security forces guilty of gross, of gross violation of human rights, Contravene Lehi Amendment 2. Defendant Austin is planning immediately to deliver six additional Super Tokuno military aircraft to the government of Nigeria for use by security forces guilty of gross violation of human rights against their friends in violation of Lehi Amendment number two. The plaintiff member, John, uh, the plaintiff member one to ten reasonably fear that the Super Tokuno military aircraft following the impending, uh, impending delivery to the government of Nigeria will be used by the Nigeria Air Force to kill, injure, injure them or to destroy their property because of their IPOB membership, religion and Biafra heritage. Count five, section 10 of the Administrative Procedure Act, plaintiff repeat and allege paragraph one to 58 uh, as a fully set forth herein Every unit of the Nigeria forces, uh, Nigeria security forces, is guilty of gross violation of the human rights against Biafrans, including the Nigeria Air Force, which is known to Defendant Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. Defendant Austin has not determined that the exception or waiver provision of 10 uh, applied to the delivery of Super Tokuno military aircraft to the Nigeria Air Force. Delivery of six Super Tokuno military uh, aircraft to the government of Nigeria for use by the security forces guilty of grave violation of Nigeria of human rights against Biafras, contravene Lehi Amendment uh, Number Two and the Administrative Procedure Act Five. Defendant Austin is planning immediately to deliver six additional Super Tokuno military aircraft to the government of Nigeria for use by security forces guilty uh, of gross violation of human rights against Biafrans in contravention of Lehi Amendment and Administrative Procedure Act 5 and C, plaintiff member John reasonably fear that the delivery of, gov of the government of Nigeria of Super Tokuno military aircraft will be used by the Nigeria Air Force, uh, by the Nigeria Air Force immediately to kill, injure, and uh, injure them and destroy their property because of IPOB membership and Biafra heritage. We are all plenty of demand judgment against defendant on all counts jointly as severe as follow. Declaratory judgment that defendant passed an impending delivery of Super Tukuno aircraft to Nigeria Air Force violate R or would violate Lehi Amendment number one and two and in Administrative Procedure Act five for an injunction against, against defendant prohibiting any further delivery prohibiting any further delivery of Super Tokuno military aircraft to the Nigeria Air Force in violation of Lehi Amendment No. 1 and 2. The Administrative Procedure Act No. 5. For an injunction directing defendant to seek the return 
of the six Super Tokuno aircraft already delivered to Nigeria Air Force in violation of Lehi Amendment Number no. Two. <laughs> IPOB, 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 IPOB. We are even requesting that they return the one already delivered. And like Mohammed is there giving statements, and we don't we don't understand the deal they are talking about. IPOB. I want you to shout wherever you are. You respond when you hear me. IPOB. 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 All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. This is what I call autopilot. The struggle for Biafra restoration has entered autopilot. IPOB! IPOB! Anna Wo Onere! Anna Wo Onere! And as I'm talking to you now, even the government of Nigeria, they are confused. They don't know what is going on. Like Mohammed, don't know which uh, deal are they talking about. The uh, presidency, they don't know what is going on. And we are winning. We are winning. This is not propaganda. This is not lie. What we have presented here is fact. Violation of the Lehi Amendment. They, they sent aircraft to Imo State. They sent aircraft to Biafra land to stop bombarding people, killing people. Abba Kaere is part of them, all of them. Air um, operation, ground operation, joint operation, military, police, DSS, all of them in Imo State. And they, were, they came out and started advertising it. Hopu Zonima, I ordered the bombardment. Hopu Zonima was even asking people to leave. They are going to bomb the place. Meanwhile, Boko Haram is there. Meanwhile, ISIS is there. Meanwhile, Al-Qaeda is there. Fulani Hesman is there. Nobody has bombarded them. IPOB. I hope you are all responding to this shout I'm shouting. IPOB. I can see your response. IPOB. IPOB. That is what we call autopilot. The struggle has entered a very dangerous stage. And you remember, we say, if you know the secret you discuss with Mazen Nambricano, start to implement it now. If you know that secret, that thing you were discussing, that secret you have with Mazen Nambricano, our leader, before they kidnap him, start to implement it now. IPOB! So, we are demanding the return of the six aircraft. And let me tell you, America is a country of justice, especially when it comes to international relations. We demand the return of the seat. And as I'm talking to you now, it is only from this broadcast that Lai Mohammed will understand what is going on. <laughs> and I am doing this on purpose. I'm doing this on purpose because we don't lie. So they cannot go to America now and say, what has been presented here, which is already going to the Congress, is a lie. They cannot come here to say they did not bombard ESA. They cannot come here to say they did not bombard innocent Biafras. They cannot come here and say they did not burn properties and houses that belong to individuals. Are they going to deny that? <laughs> no, no, no. Are they going to deny that? Of course, it is something you cannot deny. So um, you cannot lie to America. America, you know, and the Abaka area that is being bundled to America now by FBI is part of this thing we are talking about. IPOB! IPOB! As they think they have captured our leader, they don't know that we have what we call autopilot. 
the struggle has entered autopilot. The wave of disintegration of Nigeria is something that nobody can quit. In fact, if you come and say you will be the one to stop the movement, your head will go for it. You will, you, your head will go. A lot of people who have died either by plane crash or either by corona and all that, all of them say over their dead body they will see Biafra. All of them, over their dead body they will see Biafra. So if you want to commit suicide, you don't need to go and buy rope. That is a new way to commit suicide. Just declare and you mean it. Just declare that over your dead body you will see Biafra. That is the end. <laughs> you don't need to go and buy pill. You don't need to go and buy a sniper. You know, if you are in Nigeria, if you are a government official in Nigeria, you want to commit suicide. You want to kill yourself. You don't need to go and buy rope. Just come out openly and you you are, you will be serious. You come out openly and say, over your dead body, over your dead body will be Afra come. And be serious because we know where you are joking and when we, we know where you are serious. So if you are serious, we will leave you with your fate. Say, over your dead body will be Afra come. Just say it. That will be the end of you. IPOB. All right, let us continue. Let us continue. There we go. Now, as we continue, for injunction against defender prohibiting any further delivery of Super Tokuno military aircraft to the Nigeria Air Force in violation of Lehi Agreement Amendment Number One and Two, and the Administrative Procedure Act Five, for injunction directing defender to seek the return of the six. Super Tokuno aircraft already delivered to Nigeria Air Force in violation of the Lehi Agreement Amendment number one and two, and the Administrative Procedure Act five, for costs incurred by plaintiff in this action and for such other relief of court deems just proper. <laughs> oh my goodness, you people don't know how prepared we are. You people don't know how prepared you are. we are. Do you? Thank you, Alenora Okoro, for your super chat. Although, I don't think I have, uh, uh, I can see the super chat anymore, but I have seen that uh, Alenora Okoro, you have supported us with your super chat for uh, this uh, legal move. Thank you very much for your super chat. Also, uh, Nkiruka. Nkiruka, I have seen your super chat. We appreciate you for this uh, super chat supporting this uh, page and uh, our, what we are doing and this awareness. We thank you very much for doing this particular selfless service to our page. Now, I don't know, is it that I'm having Buhari? Uh, <laughs> 
Is it that there's some kind of Buhari system or, or what? So we are going to go on a, on a, on a commercial and we are going to come back. Yes, I think uh, <laughs> I think uh, we have some <laughs> we have some issues, but we are back. Welcome 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 back, welcome back. Attention, attention. IPOB One Family. This announcement is for those outside of the USA that wish to donate to the Eastern Security Network Fund that is based in the United States. Because of the fees that donators have to pay the bank when sending wires, we recommend that if you're sending less than $250, that you donate through the IPOB USA website. It's fast, simple, and less expensive for you. Go to our website, www.ipobinusa.org slash donate. That is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate and make your contribution. When it comes to keeping our people safe, every bit counts. After all, the security of our communities is our responsibility. Let's make this happen together. You are watching live and direct on Enter Biafra Channel 1, Biafra Freedom Awareness Channel. Here we are dishing out these informations that are authentic fact. And we say Nigeria government and Nigeria, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Thank you, uh, Mr. Vadix Tobis, for your super chat. I can see that here. I know a lot of people, I may not come across your super chat, but in the year 2019, I spoke with our leader about something and he agreed with me. I'd like to communicate to you what we spoke about, what the link to connect you, uh, to connect please, or I give you my number. You can write me, uh, uh, Vadix Tobis, you can write me on, uh, uh, you can write me email, uh, on uh, info at ekpa.fi info at ekpa.fi if you are watching me now give me email write me email info at ekpa.fi so this is just a you know a tip of the iceberg what i'm going to give you this uh, evening what i'm going to give you this evening a tip of iceberg and now we are going straight to so those of you who are so worried about our leader, don't worry, don't worry much. We are on top of this game, like I've always said. I've always told you people, 
we are on top of this game. Nigeria government don't know what is coming to them. As I'm talking to you now, all of them are confused. <laughs> all of them. And that is the reason why you see the, let me, let me bring it again. Let me bring it again. That is the reason why you will see them. One moment. One moment. That is the reason why you will see somebody like uh, like uh, Lai Mohammed coming to say, but of course, like I say, after this evening, after this evening, they will know what is hitting them. <laughs> only, only after this evening, they will be able to know what is hitting them because they don't know. <laughs> they don't know what is hitting them. So only if they know, they will not be making this kind of statement that will say, yeah, Lai Mohammed will come to say, oh, uh, uh, federal government not aware of the, um, uh, of the ammunition deal with us they will not they will not know if they know if they know the uh, the uh, they will understand when they hear that uh uh uduak uh, uduak uh, thank you for a super chat uduak iyoho thank you for supporting the page thank you for your super chat if they know if they know what is hitting them they will not also come to make a this kind of a statement that uh, let me show you another one if they know what is hitting them they will not come and make this kind of statement or, or when they, this kind of when they when they they will not react the way they reacted when they see this kind of thing coming u.s lawmaker stop 875 million arms sale to nigeria so if they know that uh, we hold them in their oblocos they will not come to be making all those kind of uh, frivolous uh, claim they are making and all that. Only if they know. Only if they know what is coming to them. Only if they know what is coming to them, they will not come to make this kind of statement. They will not come to make this kind of statement. Fulani, Fulani people, they will not come to make this kind of statement. Uh, 875 uh, uh, million uh, uh, dollar arms deal, Nigeria will get anything it needs from the US presidency. They don't know that that is what we call the Lehi Agreement or the Lehi Amendment. They don't know it. They don't know the content of the Lehi Amendment. So we need to be educating the Nigeria Janjaweed who don't go to school. They don't need our research. They don't have any university center. They don't even know that the, the one they collected, we are going to collect them back. America is coming to collect by the time we finish with you. You see that six uh, uh, aircraft? Don't use it to... We are coming to collect it back. And let me also show you, let me also tell you that for the fact that you have collected the six Tokuno aircraft does not give you the right to use it against Biafra. Does not also, the, we are protected under the Lehi Amendment of America. You can't use that aircraft to kill anybody in Biafra land. That is what we are trying to tell you. So call Lai Mohammed, call the chief of army staff, Call the police, let them be are, are they aware of the Lehi Amendment of America, which covers that aircraft that is in Nigeria now. So for the fact that they have actually violated this Lehi Amendment with impunity, we are collecting the six already delivered. That's how far we have got. And like I said, I will be giving you update, update from now on because. What happened previously was because IPOB was not giving you update of what they are doing. They were not giving you, so a lot of you take them for a ride. A lot of you take them for anything. So the, the one we carry file, we come and say, we do this, we do this, we do this, we do that. When I had interview with our leader, Mazina Mikano, I told him a lot of things, a lot of things that IPOB have done. And he was shocked. How did you know that? He was shocked because people are not getting update of what the RPOB have been doing. And that's why people, a lot of people are looking down on most of the, uh, what RPOB have been doing until now. Until now that they have seen that everything is coming to pass. What the RPOB have said and what Mazin and Bikano have said. So it is time we are going to be updating you, especially on those things that we want to be in public. When we want to, when we want it to be in public, we make it public. So on this note, we are going to mellow down. We are going to mellow down. I will give opportunity for people to come for conversation and you have to also pray for our leader as usual. Today is Sunday. 
So you can now go and that IPOB is waxing stronger and we are now taking, we have taken it, not just, you know, this is not usual. What we are doing now is we are uprooting them, uprooting them, you know, making sure we cut the taproot, the taproot. So the thing you are going to see from now on will shock you. We, we are on top of this game. We are on top of this game. That is the essence of this whole thing that you are seeing we are doing. We are holding them both on media, both on uh, ground, both on international community, international level and all that. And they are seeing the heat. They will not admit it. They will not admit it. That is why Nai Mohammed will come and say, you people are destroying Nigeria image. Now, we charge Nigeria in diaspora to talk, talk good about Nigeria. Talk good who? Do you know how many people watch my program? Not from Nigeria. Do you know how many people watch my program abroad? A lot of people watch it. A lot of people, you know, caught some section of the program and sent to dignitaries and good uh, government officials. They watch it. So we know how to deal with you. And when they come to say, uh, uh, you people are no action, or you are talking on social media, no action. We need action. We need the action. My brother, don't worry. If you are not seeing action, you mellow down. You, you know, make you coming down. Keep coming down. <laughs> it's all right. So I am bringing uh, some people now. We have only 30 minutes left, 30 minutes left for this program. So in this 30 minutes, I will allow you to come in. But remember, we don't, we don't hit their jaw. They are still looking at what is hitting them. They don't know it, but from this evening, they are going to know what hit them. And why I'm making this revelation now is because of you to ginger your spirit to know that uh, we, you know something is happening and there are a lot of things that is happening that I cannot make public. You know, I'm just telling you the one you should know. <laughs> because the one, this one I know, there is nothing they are going to do in this life to turn this around in this particular one. That is why I'm making it public. So join the conversation and let us uh, discuss. Here we go. Those of you who deactivated your... Uh, who deactivated your your monthly uh, dues to ESN? Please, you know there is no problem anymore. So you may you may consider you may consider uh, your your monthly uh, uh, donation to ESN to ESN account and uh, let the let it continue to flow. Click on this link and where and join us. Welcome to the program, Obina. Hello, welcome. Good evening. Can you, can you, can you reduce the volume when you're watching the program, please? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you loud and clear. Hello, Mazi. Good evening from here. Good evening. Wow. Um, I'm really, really, really excited, honestly. Um about your broadcast so far you know is the only thing that gives me hope you know You're welcome. you know um i'm so excited because uh, i know by god's grace because not by our power we are going to get uh, biafra because that's the only hope left for all biafrans that's the only hope left um what is happening uh, in Nigeria now is not a surprise to all of us. As we all know, we expected it, you know, because if God is really behind us, these are the things that uh, we, we should see. A lot of things, uh, a lot of mayhems, a lot of uh, things has happened in Biafra land. And uh, I am glad that finally the world uh, is having a, a look into it, is getting the global attention. I'm really, really happy about that. This is all that we have been uh, praying for. You know, they call us the dot, <laughs> the dot. But I assure you that the dot is doing more than the dot, that they don't even know. You know, I am really, really happy about that. And as a Biafra right. son. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Obina. Now you can use one minute to pray for, for our leader, Mazin Amdikano. He said, What? Can you hear you? You can use one minute. Everybody will have two, two minutes. Okay. One minute for your comment and one minute for your prayer. So go to your prayer now, please. Okay. Um. Well, 
<laughs> in Jesus' name. You don't know how to pray. No, I'm about to pray. Ah, I'm about to pray. Good if, you, if you don't know how to pray, you're born <laughs> No, no, no. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. Go ahead, All right. Go ahead, go ahead. In, in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our leader. We thank you for what you are doing through him. We thank you for the movement. We thank you for everything. For we know that you are with us. And we ask, oh God, that you guide, protect, and preserve our leader. That when Biafra will come, he shall be at the helm of affairs. He shall be the one to lead us through the promised land. In Jesus' name. We decree, oh God, for your favor upon his life. Even though he is in detention, Lord, I know you are still with him because you never leave your people. I ask, oh God, that you keep protecting him, preserving him, keep giving him wisdom, give him the hunger, may it's not hunger and the desire to fight for Biafra never diminish in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you very much for being part of this uh, program. Thank you very much, Mazi. All right. Now we're going to bring you uh, Una. Una, good evening and welcome to the program. Um, good afternoon. This afternoon here. Yeah. <laughs> good afternoon. All right. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening and welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for today, and I'm so happy. Oh my God, this was a very explosive um, broadcast. <laughs> it was so explosive. You have, I had to you, have one, you have one. You have one minute. You have one minute to comment and one minute for prayer. Okay, thank you so much. And I just want to tell some of the beer friends in America: keep calling your senators, keep calling your house of rape, keep writing to them. Keep bombarding them with emails. They will respond one day. That's what I do all day here. And then I let me pray for our leader. Um, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank Amen. you for today. We bless your holy name because there is none like thee. We thank you for life in the land of the living. We thank you, O oh God, for everything you're doing in our land, Biafra. We bless your holy name for our leader and we beg you for forgiveness of sins because where there is no sin, there shall never be forgiveness. Forgive us our sin, forgive our leader his sin, forgive every Biafran their sin, for we know you are on top of this case for us. And at the end, Biafra shall be restored and all glory and adoration shall be ascribed unto your holy name in Jesus' name. Father, oh God, Amen. fight against our enemies and put distraction and confusion in their midst. Lord, they shall fall into the net they set for us. And at the end, you shall show them that they are only but human in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Una, for joining the program. Thank you. Bye. All right. Uh, Njoku Kalo. Njoku Kalo, give me, good evening from here. Joko Kalo, good evening from here. Good evening, Simon. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the program, Simon. You have two minutes, one minute for comment, one minute for prayer. Simon, you're doing a fantastic job. Thank I'm you very glad much. You're, I'm glad you took over the mantle, whether officially or unofficially. In whatever form you're doing it, I don't care as long as the result comes out. That's what Machiavelli said. The end Thank justifies you. the means. And I agree with what you're saying. However, in addition to the one you people are doing, the greatest one is about to happen. By the time they abduct Abba Kiare, he starts singing. All the presidency will disappear, including the people supporting the presidency. Yes. Including the judicial system. Everybody will disappear. You will watch. Once he goes there and starts singing, all of them are gone. And by then, they will, have, they will be begging, like I told you, Gerard, I say, they were negotiating how many, how they're going to leave our leader. And by then, our leader will not tell them, now. Nah, I don't even want to negotiate anymore. You push your pack your load and leave the whole entity called Nigeria. Like he told them, when he finished with them, even Futa Jalong will reject them. That's what's going to happen to them. Um, and I also sent you an email about the buses. I believe you must have got my email. You haven't replied in London, how the buses were about. I think I sent you the email about two, three weeks ago. So hopefully okay. you got it. I'll keep checking my email to reply me. I'll keep forwarding the email to i know you have so many things you're doing but at one point you see it um All right for the prayers i just want to say by the special grace of god we shall conquer other people have prayed fantastic prayers 
but that is my simple prayer by the special amen. grace of god we shall conquer amen 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 thank you very much uh and joko Kalo for being part of the program this evening emeka emeka good evening and welcome to the program uh good evening can you hear me welcome to the program i can hear you live and direct okay, uh, I first of all I send you a message on, on your inbox uh, last week. I didn't get a reply yet. I want to congratulate you for what you are doing. You are doing a very great job. This is the why the reason why our leader asked you that you should take over this. You, know, you are very doing a very fantastic job. Uh, actually, it's a secret, but nothing happens to our leader. But our leader have been they have been pleaded to him every blessed day in order to drop this agitation but the the worst thing that happened is Polani people they have made a mistake i have a very good friend from uh, kaduna southern kaduna you know when you talk about biafra not only biafra relies on our leader also people from middle Bed, people from kaduna relied on him i don't yes. know if you can remember last year i told you about a story about buhari the same guy told me also that buhari is demented but buhari is not dead i called you on on your program and i told you and the, the same guy although I, I don't, it's not something i would say on air for it is a very very something that always dropped to me so what i'm saying is that at the end biafra will be free and the full any people are regretting why they went for our leader in this way even on 28th on that october he's not coming to court they are not going to bring him to court because that's the mistake they make so i want to really appreciate what you are doing but for our leader in prayers i always remember him and i remember the last word he told us he said we should pray some before at the end we will see what will happen and that's exactly what is happening that is what is exactly what is happening so all right one uh, one uh, one uh, minute uh, with to for prayer go ahead yeah whatever he is he's a blessed man and uh, he's a man of god he's a prophet i covered him with the blood of jesus there is no need of covering him because i know he's already covered so nothing will happen to him he will come come out as a great man who he is so thank you very much Mazeba. Thank you very much. Yeah, and good night. Thank you very much. All right, uh, and then we bring you uh, Chi Biafra. Chi Biafra, if you want to talk now, can you sit down? So we bring you in. Yes, uh, good evening from here. Samuel, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Um uh -uh. okay, you left. You left. I think we lost you. Good evening from here, uh Johnny. Yeah, good evening, Simon. How are you? Welcome to the program. Yeah, very fine. Yeah, just welcome wanna, to the program. Yeah, welcome to yeah, I just want to thank you for all you are doing, you know. And again, I thank God for making us in you know at the end so that this be fair all of us will rejoice then um i just want to say a prayer to um, uh, to our leader mazen namde i pray god almighty will guide and protect him give him life so that he will at the end he will experience this Biafra that we, we have been fighting for. And my prayer to Nigeria, I want Nigeria to be destroyed with the misery of the Holy, 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 Holy Ghost. Destroy Nigeria, scatter everything. Set all people who are on bondage, set everybody free. That is my prayer. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's Thank all you very much. Yeah, that, that, is, that is all I want to say. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much for being part of the program. You're welcome. All right. okay. Good evening and welcome to the program. Good evening, Mr. Simon. Good evening from here. Yeah, I'm just going one minute, to... One minute uh, comment and one minute prayer. 
I don't have much comments. I'm just going to go ahead for the prayer because I didn't join the right. beginning. All everlasting, right. Go ahead. Everlasting reality, we want to thank you at a time like this. We want to thank you for the life of our leaders and all of us. We bless you, Lord Jesus Christ, because you are aware of what is going on. Father Lord, as he as is in the midst of his enemies, you use his enemies to run errands for him. Because he knows his intentions are pure. He wants to give life, a more defined life to, to his people. Father Lord, you know that Jesus, what other love can you give that he laid down his life for us? So our leader is led, laying down his comfort, his family, his friends, and what he does, he loves to do for our own sake. And a lot of people has come to realize this, has put, come to put in all their minds, thinking that it's a just cause. We are calling upon you, Lord Jesus Christ, that as he's in the midst there, as he's held there, Father Lord, the air he will breathe will bring a blessing to him. The, the, the ground he step his foot will be, bring, bring blessing to him. The sun, the, everybody will, will be just like Daniel in the midst of the lion. He shot them and they became his friends. So they will all directly or indirectly run errands for him. Inside that rock of ages. I'm going to pray because pastors has been part of the problem we have in our land. And I'm going to pray because I know the end of your woman of angels that we use Koboko to start flogging them in all these prophecy, fake prophecies. Because we're going to have a, na a nation that will be a nation of truth and that will bring the gospel of truth. That is the intention of our leader. Father Lord, that they should stop preaching what is making our youth to get greedy and stop preaching this their nonsense prosperity and begin to mm. preach the word of repentance and truth so that all of us will walk in one accord to bring the sun to shine in our land father lord that you reset their mind to know that they are killing a lot of youth and even everybody's getting greedy upon greedy upon greedy it's not taking us anywhere and that is why our leader is there because he stands for the truth He's been held for the truth he stands for. Our nation, the nation they call Nigeria, is so polluted that if you stand for the truth, it looks as if you are the bad person. Why evil is spreading everywhere because the good people do nothing. They are playing safe. The school called pastors that are supposed to know are beginning to preach to gain popularity and money and 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 thereby destroying our land. Father, Lord, I take authority from you to speak to the angels to arrange a koboko that they used to flog all of them. As they are seeing rubbish, are seeing death, so they, they, they will flog them and death will come upon their land. If they yeah. to speak the truth. Because this is not the time to play hamki-panki with this agitation. Your children, you can see um, Simon all his likes. They are well situated in where they are. They have good jobs. They have profession. They are doing this course because of love and nothing more. Love of our home. Home is home. These people send us, sent us to a distant land because they want to inherit the land of Biafra. Father, do not allow this to happen. For, for even one righteous person, Lord, you will turn Biafra around. And I know that all of us that guard you, we are giving what we can give in, in one way or the other. Refine the minds of our people. So begin to see truth. Because as this thing is happening with Abakayere, we are supposed to learn from it. We are supposed exactly. to learn from it. Not to make turn it to a joke. It's not a joke. It's so that we will begin to think. Because as the rain is falling, it's my fault one day if you don't take if you are not careful of what we do. Take away greed, take away bitterness, anger, take away jealousy. Because when you know, because our leader is gifted, the our leader is well blessed. That is why he looks as if he's the bad person. But we know that he is blessed. 
and shut the mind of the lying pastors that are the agitated because your people love to serve you. And that's why they are worshiping them, believing all the lies they are telling them. He's not taking our land to anywhere. A lot of impunity, a lot of things that never happened before used to happen. Our leader had a dream that a, 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 a nation where when your money falls on the ground, somebody will pick it as it, as it used to be and give you back. A, a nation where your brother will, be, will watch your back. A nation where we wish, wish each other well. Not a nation that is full of emptiness, with nonsense uh, 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 degree, nonsense uh, 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 cheap title, and everybody's getting greedy and killing each other. Eternal rock of ages, we're calling upon you for the sake of all those who have suffered for this cause, for the blood that have been spilled in our land. Father, do not keep silence. Do not turn your back. We have been assured that our leader is safe, and we know he is safe, and we know that he's going to be released. We are keen to that. We shut every negative prophecies, every nonsense uh, 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 dream, and every rubbish that they are posting. We stand with the truth, which is our leader will come as and lead us to be afraid. This and many more acts in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much for being part of this uh, program today. Mazi uh, Anosike. Mazi Anosike. Uh, welcome to the program. You have two minutes, one minute prayer and uh, one minute comment. Go ahead. Amen. Can you hear me? Really? I can hear you. I can hear you. I have two minutes. One minute prayer, one minute comment. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, I have nothing much to say but uh, to say a prayer for our leader, Mazi. And, and uh, the lovers of freedom in the Gafran land and uh, over the world. Because am I committed to use our dialect? Is it for prayer? Yes, sir. Uh, you can pray. You can pray uh, in any language you want. Can I go? Okay, very good. God, my brother. Apo ko ngu chukwo ko njia fanya bezi o ko njia niya bezi ezembi ezi omakasi piyo wa oma maramo o njia niya chukwo ezembi ezi chukwo kaka po kwenye zo money ti o njia ezi money ne money zo ni na poi se la ni njia apo ngu ni si mo rukibu mo ase na ndi upukano o njia juu na alwa Ijuwe doputa umu umuge na kandi ojo na kandi ongo bana na kandi lo na rarongo ruki wenye nyefe na kandi usuku okike na poku mo ne meli bohe mo bohe meli na poku arobi na guni ene dona ni bo na poku rumo na mo na poku mezu mezu amo ni ene dene mi ma dena ujios ujioma wena sabi kuhaka kuni kwa nogo kuelewa. No one has created nothing deep. But I have a work and one day, and no one went as a boy on the Hanona. Is Zodon in a harbor, I got a side of his. I call one of the ones and the canoe, Kaka, but dear, or what dear, and a more than a mother. I walk more than no more, but not walk in the Akajo for. When I walk one more, more Namo, I can go for a Benam, whereas I'm one or no go, but you're not walking up on the Napoku. Edo. Tatabu, Tatabu, Oge, Memegi. When I said, I came in over Tata and never never hung. When I said, Give me anywhere. But I don't give one Agara, but I never went Bogo and Bogo. When I said, Give me in Capon, you can go see your Ponaka, Yemen, Yemen, Wagi. That's a guy, a Bobna. A Bobna, a Bobna is Zua. Kahara Bunda, you politician in Dibo, in Dakar. As in the note, note, boy, he get, boy, he get, they who learn, they get, they who learn, 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 they who
Okay, God bless you so richly, Mazi. You've been such an inspiration. And I thank God for your life. And I'm just going to sing and pray. Uh, I'll try to put it, it, do it within two, two minutes. All right. All right, thank you. Amen. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All we have to do is to follow. The Lord knows the way to the wilderness. All we have to do is to follow. Strength for today is ours all the way. And all that we need for tomorrow. The Lord knows the way through the will done us. All we have to do is to follow. Father, Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the ancient of days, you are the one that knows the way through this wilderness of this world. You are the one that knows the way into this promised land of Biafra. You are the only one that knows how the rising sun and when the rising sun, oh God, will be seen shining all over the world, which is the ushering in of Biafra. Lord, we thank you because, Lord, even with your son, Mazenam de Kalu, Father, Lord, people might think that they have fulfilled what they want to fulfill in their evil mind. But one thing is sure, Lord, that you who knows the way, you will take him through this way and you will bring him back. Ancient of days, Lord, you said in the book of Isaiah, you said that when we go through water, you will go through that water with, with us, that we will not be overflown with, by water. Say, so when we go through fire, you will go through that fire with us, that we don't get burned by fire. So as your son, Mazenam de Kahlo, is going through this water, he will never be drowned. Because, Lord, right there you are with him. As he's going through this fire, Lord, he will never get burned. Just like the three Hebrew men, Lord, in the midst of that fire, oh God, you were the fourth person that they never got burned. Even in the den of the lions, Lord, with Daniel, Father, you came and you took care. You were there with him that he wasn't destroyed by the lions. Yes, Lord. 
so shall he be with Mazen Namde Kalo. Build a wall of fire around him, O oh God. Confuse his enemies, O oh God. And help the IPOB family to be focused at this time. Never to fall by the wayside. Never to allow anything, O oh God, to come, O oh God, in the midst of the struggle. Lord, thank you for your son, Mazi Simon Epa. Thank you for this wonderful man. Thank you for what he's been doing. Thank you for what he will continue to do. I pray for more wisdom, of more grace upon him, oh God. Thank you for the DOS, Lord. Mazichike, Dozem, and all of them, Lord. Father, continue to guide them. Thank you for the legal team, Lord. Mazi. Mazi and the, the rest of them, Lord, continue to guide them. Anywhere they speak, oh God, speak through them. That in the end, we will say yes of a truth that our Lord, who knows the way through the wilderness, has led. And we have come out victorious. Because at the end of this tunnel, Father, there is a bright light. Be thou exalted, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, Chichi, for that uh, wonderful prayer. Appreciate you for being part of this program. Abu Mwa Biafra. Abu Mwa Biafra, good evening and welcome to the program. We have just three minutes. We have just three minutes and they're not mm -hmm. everybody. May... Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Yes, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Simon. <laughs> Longest time due to my time schedule. Uh, I, I, I really thank God I, I meet you today. You know, I'm watching your you no, know, since on 26, I was, uh, I was. You have just, you have just uh, two minutes and okay. uh, two minutes. Okay. So just go straight to your comment and then to your prayer, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'll go. I'll go straight to the 30 second song and the, use the one uh, one minute uh, some minutes for prayer. Okay. All right. All right. By the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down, and there we wait. When we remember Zion, when the wicked carry us away in captivity, require for us a song. How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? So let the west of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, thank you, Heavenly Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. The enemy took us away out from where he created us from Biafra. We remember many of us we are not born even when Biafra is existing, but we feel it in our spirit. We feel it and believe how special and unique Biafra is. We share tears for what you are suffering by now. The enemies, full and is, who are holding us captive, holding our enemies, our leaders captive, doing sort of rubbish, forcing us to do what we don't want to do and what we don't like to do. But indeed, oh Lord, we put our trust, let the meditation of our heart and the words of our prayer be acceptable in that sight. As our leader, Mazen Namede Kano, is in their hands. As they're doing many evil things against him, mocking him that, is, that there is no God. Father, let them know that there is God. Let them know that you are the living God that set your children free. Father God, we pray that whatever that give them power, then we lose it. And what they thought that giving us weeping and sorrow, we turn to become against them and for our own good. Oh, Lord God, arise. Arise so that they will know that indeed, Brafra is, is in your hand. Arise, oh God, for all your genuine servants that are agitating for the restoration of Brafra. Let no division come near any of them. I break every power of division. I break every power of commotion. 
I break every power of gossip out from this brothel restoration by the mighty name of Chuko Kikabiyama. Indeed, O oh God, I call upon, let us serve and summon Epa, do more exploits, so that them that say evil and bad thing against him, we change their mouth and say, now we know that Simon Epa is a truly a child of Biafra and a child of God. Father God, give our, our leader good head, because that was my friend. Give him a good head, Father God. Let him come out with a healthy head and for the victory of Biafra. Thank you, O oh God, for answering my prayer. He said, he said, he said. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, the time is already up. I'm going to bring uh, one more person. Uh, one more person, uh, Wachineke. Wachineke, good evening from here. Bringing you because you have your video on. So, welcome. We cannot hear you. Okay, I think the mic. Can you hear me now? Right. I can hear you. I can hear you. That's the point. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, can be done a better before me my own comment. Anna Mayo Chuko Kika Biama. Unto him that is able to keep beer from man and the crown of the Jesus of my own time from falling. And to present Mazenu from faultless. The presence of his judgment and glory with exceeding the only wise God, Chukwo Kikabia, see him. Mighty dominion and power forever and ever. Mazin Nandekanu, the universe has written that you lead us out from this um, new Egypt. God guide him, God protect him. You are faultless. The world, the earth, air, the water, we attest to this. That we be, we are from we are faultless before his judgment. Let it be. Now, amen. My comment is this. Amen. I am advising all my people. Please, this is the resolute. And they don't follow all these YouTubers making money in this, um, uh, this process. Ephraim, please, not everybody YouTube you be clicking. Please follow Epa. Follow the right people who will educate us to know what's going on. Every YouTuber you follow. And uh, last is not the least. Always have to pay your dues. It's very important. Very important. And the time we come, we will be back. There will be a mouse. It's coming. The tribe of Jacob scattered all over the world. They want to go somewhere. They will go somewhere, and that's their for land. And God has ordained it. God ordained it. And this is as I say. God will protect us. God will lead us through. Chuko Kikai Biyama will guide us. Universe, the universe itself, the water we drink, the, the energies, they are fighting for all their from whom are honest because our hand has played. And all the politicians, I say only one person escaped the wrath of God. It is coming. We are praying that they must die. They pray that that they must die. And also is doing that concept. Why we are having this tough time is to learn lesson from this. So that not when Biafra will become a, a supermarket at Biafra. No. Biafra will be a player we teach Africa how, fly, how life so This is why God is doing this in his own way. May God bless Jesus of our time. Thank you. Good night. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much yeah. for that your wonderful prayer. And you're going to be the last person yeah. on this program because yeah. we've exceeded our time. And those of you who are unable to talk today, we say please join us again tomorrow as we continue the uh, the uh, this uh, exposition. Tomorrow we're going to come with more, more mind-blowing exposition 
and uh, you know the things we do we do best so i say may god bless biafra may god bless the Duduwa republic may god bless the middle belt may god bless arewa if they're going to accept my prayer may god bless ipv worldwide may god bless mazen and Bicano. may god bless esn may god bless on the Igbo hope may god bless you sharing this remember where we do this is on enter biafra channel one where all this information this powerful revolution is coming to you remember to always share invite your friends and let them watch through the enter biafra channel one thank you very much good night attention attention ipob one family this announcement is for those outside of the usa that wish to donate to the eastern security network fund that is based in the united states because of the fees that donators have to pay the bank when sending wires we recommend that if you're sending less than 250 dollars that you donate through the ipob usa website it's fast simple and less expensive for you go to our website www.ipobinusa.org slash donate that is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate and make your contribution when it comes to keeping our people safe every bit counts after all the security of our communities is our responsibility let's make this happen together Mr. Bella once again. <laughs> Who is that? Kill it. Come on. Yeah. Huh. Say, Biafra will not last forever. They say, happy up in a ghost What did they know? What do they know? What do they see? What do they see? If you give me a gun, I will shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I will shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, They love us of Biafra. Biafra. This is the time we need to come to bed and fight for what is being done to us. So get rid of money, get rid of these who want to make us a giant of Africa. I don't put you in a hurry. So go, but get rid of this now. I'm a fool. We don't deserve any good. Out of this wisdom, giving us somebody like Nam the Kalo for this our race mission, mission, mission. Biafra will not last forever, forever. They say happy up in a ghost town. No ghost town. What do they know? What do they know? What do they see? If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. If you give me a gun, I go shoot them aside. See you, Juku, our hero, have the force in ever stop. Mazin and the Kano, but no phone will stop. They cannot stop. Be a family forever. Believe me. But independence for Nigeria as a corporate entity is not enough. The peoples of Nigeria must at the same time be guaranteed their freedom. <laughs> we must ensure, we must ensure that in an independent Nigeria, individual citizens 
proud the land, enjoy liberty, human dignity, and equality under the law. There must be one Nigeria with one constitution and one law for us. Let us therefore, Mr. Chairman, sir, close our ears to the Council of Despair, which says that we cannot here at this conference agree on a constitution. <laughs>